In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to enter text at runtime using the Blender game engine. I've got the standard cube, I've added a property to it, property text. Because this button is pressed, uh, the contents of the property will be displayed at runtime in the debug area which is in the top left hand corner. So if I start this, I can type in any uh, letter of the alphabet and I've, the backspace delete will work let's press escape to get out the game engine what facilities for text input come with the blender game engine well there is a keyboard sensor and that will sense the pressing of the key the letter O for instance it will send a signal through an AND gate controller to a property actuator and this will add the letter O to the property text and this will allow me to enter hello but uh, I would need 26 of these logic brick sensors for the letters alone so it's not really a practical method of entering text So we're going to need some Python code to be able to enter text. If you look at a very simple system, if I start this, I can enter any letter from the keyboard. Okay, first of all, I'm going to go over the setup of the logic bricks, then I'm going to go through the code. So file new. We want the game logic layout we want the blender game renderer I'm uh, going to add a property property text to the standard cube I'm going to change that to string and display in the debug window now we don't need an actuator because we're going to use Python code to handle the keyboard event. We need a keyboard sensor. Now normally we would sense a particular key but uh, if you press all keys that will create an event when any key is pressed. We need a new Python script. Um, let's call it text dot py and when a key is pressed we want a python controller which will run that script when a key is pressed now for the python code I got most of the code from uh, the blender website if you go to education and help the python api reference scroll down to the game engine modules we want the events module uh, there they give you some example code uh, this comment says do the all keys thing that's the one we want I'm going to copy down to there right click copy into blender and paste uh, we need to turn word wrap on which is that button there and syntax highlighting uh, back to the blender website under the snippets are um, the events functions we need this function event to string if we copy that uh, press enter and paste that uh, the keyboard when you press a key uh, the keyboard event will be stored in an object called key this will turn it into a string so if we store that in a variable called string and if we then add that onto the property that we added to store the text from the keyboard plus equals will add it onto the end There's one thing we have to do 
we haven't set up the cube as the owner of the controller. Now if we start that, we don't get any debug information. You have to go to the game menu and tick show debug properties. Now if I click start, if I press the letter A, I get A key, B, B key, space, space key, backspace, backspace key. If we go back to the Blender website and scroll down, you see all the constants, uh, the event constants that are generated when a key is pressed. There are all the letters and below are all the other keys of the keyboard. If you notice the format of all the letters, they have the letter followed by the word key. So a quick and easy way of just extracting the letter is to put the first character from the array that makes up the string and the first uh, element in an array is the one with an index 0 so if I put square bracket 0 now if I start I can type Mary now if I press the space bar I just get S had and if I press backspace I get B I'll show you how to deal with the space bar and the backspace in part two of this tutorial, so bye for now.